hi dear friends in my previous lecture we have seen about sati chalikas writing of mahanirvan and uh, the impact on his mind about the surroundings we were discussing about the death of his grandmother in sasun hospital where she died after 10 days of fire burnt she had caught fire when lighting the stove severely and she got severely burnt then she was hospitalized and treatment was given to her but after 10 days a strong fight of his grandmothers for living was useless and she she died after 10 days sati shalekar was in his uh, final year in school at that time and he remembers his grandfather in a mad hurry to take her away from cremation his grandfather did not want satish alekar to bring to the cremation crematorium where the dead bodies are burnt or buried and uh, grandfather was muttering that come on hurry up don't tie it too hard the crematorium is close by here satish alekar says i could not imagine my grandfather ex minister and one of the most popular leaders of pune getting so upset at the age of 70 as to say these words how my grandfather became too much upset and saying that come on hurry up don't tie too hard so this is the exact explanation of the mentality of his grandfather that is kaka saheb gadgil one of the most famous personality in political world as well as educational world this is not only the um, mentality exposed here but this is the exposure of the then contemporary social culture also the atmosphere was somber she was taken to the crematorium and he gave her fire kaka saheb gadgil gave fire to his grandmother after that he was quiet for a long time after that he was quiet for a long time no doubt there was a great blow or great shock due to the death of his wife 
he became silent he sat on a stone and told someone standing nearby he sat on a stone he was so shocked and told someone standing nearby and said did you notice did you notice she was born before she died she was born due to the lightning uh, stone she was born before she died before the actual death she burned recklessly the god of fire took her in two installments what was the opinion of his grandfather that is kaka saheb gadgil he observed that and he said the same observation to a person near standing nearby him did you notice she was burned before she died the god of fire took her into two installments first installment of these 10 days when she was terribly burned and second installment after the death she was um, uh, she was burned the god of fire took her in two installments the sentence has stayed with me that sentence which is uttered by his grandfather that is kaka saheb gadgil that the god of fire took her in two installment that sentence stuck forever with satish alik with his stent sentence at the back of my mind i thought of the play what was the major source of this play is explained here this is the source of this play mahan nirvana mahan nirvana that is dread departure that is translated into english later on but actually the title of this dread departure in marathi is mahan nirvana that is death of a person so the idea of this play came into the mind of satish alekar when his grandfather kaka saheb gadgil uttered the sentence that the god of fire took her into installments so this is the major source of writing of this play mahanirvana is a play about coming to terms with someone's death on several levels ceremonial psychological and social there are various levels of death someone's death is a ceremonial for other people who are not directly or bloodly related to the person who died there is a level of psychology psychological stress psychological uh, damage or uh, psychological death of the people who directly related bloodly related to the person who died social level is uh, another level of any uh, person's death because there is a different impression on society when a person dies 
there is only utterance oh so sad so sad news and after the uttering these few words society generally will not participate in deep sorrow of the family members the social level is different level psychological level is different level and ceremonial level is also a different level of any person's death but the originality of the play lies in making death itself in the form of the dead bhavrao witness to this whole lingering process played out against the kirtans the traditional songs of devotion sung as part of the ceremonial of mourning and almost as a ritual of containing death so death of bhavrao and all the incidences happened are the traditional rituals have taken place after the death of bhavrao bhavrao himself is the witness of all these incidences and uh, rituals because after the death of bhavrao he himself is the witness of this whole lingering process played by uh, played out against the kirtanas there is a kirtan there is a funeral procession there is a traditional songs devotion sung as part of ceremonial of mourning there is a common uh, program of mourning after the death of a bhavra so he himself the idea is the person who died isolatedly observes all these rituals carefully and satishalekar tried to explore all these rituals sarcastically it is a attack on traditional hindu rituals and culture generally followed by the social society by the family after the death of an important person in the family so this is the basic concept of this drama we will see more information about this drama in my next lecture or video so thank you